Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, hey, pretty cat. Hi. Uh, just a quick update. A uh, little different video than we normally do. Over Memorial Day weekend, decided, you know, take a break from the car and, you know, have a little fun because that's what life's about. Have fun, as my kitty cat likes his ear scratched. Meow. Yeah. Hi. So, took the jet ski out for the first time. Decided to bring the GoPro with me, so. Got some video of that, and also a little update on the GTO. Uh, I have an electrical gremlin. Basically, I put the key in the car, turn the key, radio comes on, electric comes on, and all that fun stuff. But as soon as I go to start it, I get one click from the starter, and car loses power entirely. So, I have a short or a ground or something I gotta figure out. So, working on that. Next video that comes out will be putting a lot of the accessories on the engine and hopefully I'll have that little electrical gremlin resolved and can get the thing cranked over at least and maybe started open headers. That'd be fun. Neighbors will not like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, enjoy the jet ski video. I had a lot of fun making it because jet ski fun, you know, as Daniel Tosh once said, you never see anybody frowning riding a jet ski. So, true story. Anyway, enjoy the video, and hopefully in the next uh, five, six, seven days, I'll have this electrical gremlin resolved and get back to the GTO content. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to Billy Ray on the Bay. Uh, today, I'm taking my jet ski out for a ride. It's a 2016 Sea Dew RXP 300. 300 stands for 300 horsepower. Fun times. It's got a 1630 cc engine, supercharged. All that fun stuff. It's got sport mode, which is pretty awesome. Conditions on the bay today are not the greatest, so I'm probably not going to be able to go 70 miles an hour ish, but probably going like that 55 range. Uh, we'll see if it flattens out further down when the water gets shallower. that was fun got it uh had one little flat spot where i was able to hit you know 70 71 miles an hour uh with two people on here you're looking at like 68 69 miles an hour 69 nice this thing is very agile uh it is heavy i think it's like 900 pounds something like that uh 15 gallon tank so you can have a lot of fun with it the only thing is if you're going uh if you're hot riding it uh you're not 
driving around for more than 20 25 minutes on a full tank of gas so uh, it's very tempting when you get the supercharger kicked in and you know you're just hauling ass blown by everybody uh, it's pretty it's pretty fun uh, future plans for this thing I want to I believe the company is called Riva they make a kit that can get this thing up to about 85 miles an hour which requires super flat water for it which is cool but the only time you really get that on the bay is really early in the morning so yeah i have to get my ass up very early in the morning to head down and get this thing on the water before all the boat traffic gets out all right let's do a ride in and uh let me do some donuts and stuff because this thing will do it uh sport mode i'll put it in sport mode for this one but you'll hear it the throttle response will be way better and let's go Sport mode activated. Adjust my crotch. Oh, my balls. So here's full throttle launch with sport mode. Now as you'll see this thing lift up in the air. Basically sport mode, your supercharger kicks in like right away. It is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm in pretty shallow water here, so I'm gonna get out of here. And then we'll continue our little rip. It's like 200 bucks. 
getting it put in, getting it serviced, get the check engine light cleared. The battery lasts about one season. I've gotten two out of my last one. This one's a new one. But, uh, I love this thing. I remember when I bought it, I bought a house probably like four months prior to buying this thing and I was just like, I don't know if I can afford it, you know, but I found a way. I own it out right now. So I can't complain. It, it, this thing's awesome. It definitely blows people's minds when you're doing like 70 miles an hour and they're like, holy shit. Because most people, when they rent jet skis, yeah, they, they'll do like 35, 40 miles an hour, and, and they're fun. They have their place. But this thing's just awesome. If you're into water sports, and I highly recommend getting one of these things. You can probably get them used for probably like eight, 10 grand. This one's got 95 hours on it. And I've only had one major issue, and it wasn't even a major issue, it was just making a lot of noise. It was like a carbon seal or a, a wear bearing. It was like a thousand dollar repair, but you're gonna get that when you have a boat or anything on the water. Uh, this has a self-contained cooling system, so it's actually got cooling. But this thing's awesome. I highly recommend getting one. I can't say that enough. Now, if you live far from water, let me slow down. Let me shut this thing off to be real. So if you're gonna get one and you don't have a place to keep it, uh, then it becomes a pain in the ass because you don't ride it as much, uh, unless you're that dedicated to where like you live down the street and you can put it in a lake or whatever, like cool. But salt water, you have to flush it out. You have to maintain it more, I, I believe. I haven't had this thing out on fresh water yet. Uh, there's not too many places around here on fresh water where you could uh, unlimited horsepower it. All right, guys, that's going to conclude uh, Billy Ray on the Bay here from Billy Ray Garage. Uh, just chilling on the beach. I beached it. Uh, tide is kicking the ass end out and it wants to beach itself like hardcore. I don't want that. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, Get some more content on this thing. Uh, I'm thinking for next season, that's when I want to do the upgrades to it. I don't know if I'll do it myself because there's a lot of tooling involved and I know nothing, well, not that I don't know nothing about jet skis, but I know there's like a certain tooling and programming you need to do, you need a shop to do that. So again, thanks for watching, like, subscribe. If you want to see more content on jet skis and all that fun stuff, leave a comment, like it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. America.